first tonight locked up and left a serious embarrassment for the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, two teenagers left in their cells and somehow abandoned all weekend. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is live in Douglas County with a story new at five. Deidre? Yes, and Ann, Tom, hard to believe, but we are told this really happened. And now several employees with the sheriff's office, they are under investigation because someone, possibly more than one or two people, failed to check these holding cells before they left the courthouse on Friday afternoon. How did staff overlook a pair of juvenile offenders locked in these holding cells at the Douglas County Courthouse Friday? Uh, I'm as embarrassed today as I can possibly be. You don't if you're doing your job, says Douglas County Sheriff Phil Miller. They are required to check each cell uh, in our holding facility to make sure nobody is there at the end, end of the day, and they failed to do that, uh, which resulted in them being there over the weekend. He promises swift action against the 8 to 10 staffers who did not follow proper procedure. Our internal affairs is conducting an investigation. Uh, we have interviewed all parties involved except one, and that person is in, is in training out of state. The teens, 16 and 17 years old, were locked in two separate cells following court appearances at 1.30 Friday afternoon. They stayed there. Uh, uh, through closing time and uh, our people failed to check on them and they wound up staying there all weekend uh, without any food, uh, without any ability to make a phone call and without any uh, supervision whatsoever. The sheriff said there's no way the teens would have possibly been overlooked had someone done a routine check of the cells at the end of the day on Friday or monitored an electronic system that indicates when a holding cell is occupied. So in front of these people were two red lights uh, indicating that these cells were locked, meaning that somebody was in it. But we're supposed to make sure that all cells are open and there's nobody in the cell at the end of the day, and we didn't do that. And I just got off the phone with a spokesperson with the State Department of Juvenile Justice. We are told that they are also investigating this matter, that they are working in conjunction with the uh, Douglas County Sheriff's Office, and we are told that they are cooperating fully. As for those teens, we are told that they are back home with their families tonight. And that is the latest here in Douglas County. I'm Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, Deidre, thanks. Turning now to the weather.